thank you for your presence here on earth because we know if it wasn't for your presence here in America, America wouldn't be a fifth place in which to live. <laughs> Mankind has desecrated so the holy document upon which this nation is founded that it, it causes people who have any sense of justice within themselves to rise up in rebellion. And yet, Father, it's nothing that any person can do. It is a work that only your Holy Spirit can do in the hearts and minds of the children of men. Love cannot make people live together as brothers as they should. They can pass all the laws they want to pass, but until you put your spirit within the people, they will not do that which is just and right. <laughs> Father dear, I thank you for coming and putting your mind and spirit in the children of men those who will adhere to your teaching. Until now, the atmosphere is charged with your righteousness, with Americanism and brotherhood. Until the people of the United States are not going to put up with the crime against democracy that has heretofore been perpetrated by the people that are not even uh, it's a sin to call them Americans. They're not Americans. They have no right to call themselves Americans. When they lie to, and when they do such crimes as, as was done recently in the South, you all know what I'm talking about. And, and I know that just to Father's spirit within us to, um, Help us keep our religion tonight when we heard, <laughs> when we heard the, the verdict that was handed down by the jury in the case of the brutal slaying of the uh, youngster in the South. Father, I thank you. We have so much to thank God for. We have so much to be grateful to Father for that we can and eat together as brothers and sisters because I know that that's why the abundance of the fullness flows. That's why time would not permit to serve the amount of vegetables and meat that were coming forth as Father's blessing tonight. It is wonderful. <laughs> Father has shown us the mystery that has been hidden from the children of men because of their sins. The mystery that he gave them in the Genesis 11, 6, that when the people unify in one, they unlock the heaven's door to the abundance of the fullness of all good things. And I know that Father is not going to allow such minds to continue to live on his beautiful earth. <laughs> Unless they will bring themselves into subjection to this truth. And I thank you, Father, that they may lie all they like. And the people know, other people know if they are lying, but they're afraid. They're afraid to stand for righteousness, justice, and truth. But I know that Father knows, and the cosmic forces of nature are no respecter of persons, and that his spirit will render justice and to whom justice is due. And I thank you, Father dear. It is such a consolation in this day and time to know 
know that if man will not meet out justice to his fellow man, God will. God will fight our battles and we need not be disturbed because if we trust Father, then it's like keeping cold a fire upon their head. And we do not get resentful and anger, but just know that God will take care of them. And what God does, he does very well. Yeah.